that's Damon and Greg. They are arriving with the new Bobcat Rehab Kitten. She's going to finish out her rehab here. Those fine fellows are from Wildlife Inc. on Anna Marie Island. And they've been rehabbing animals for like 30 years, I think. It might be more than that. So we're going to get a little sneak peek at her. Maybe. Don't want to upset her. Don't worry, you're good. keep her inside overnight and oh, Jamie yeah. wants to take her oh, out there tomorrow and see how she compares size-wise to the other kittens. Do you have another one? Do you just want to use... have another one? We need it. We need it to cover to like down here. There should be another one on the other cage that looks like this. Where's the other cage that looks like this? Okay, I can grab it. So, Damon, I know your role there. I don't know if Greg's. Do you work with wildlife? I do. Um, I'm actually a scientist. I've been volunteering for seven or eight years. Oh, how cool is that? It's very cool. It means every now and then I get to throw down my lab coat, rip open my shirt, and go running. Yeah. He's always on call to rescue animals. He's one of our people that, you know, we allow to deal with more of the dangerous stuff. Um, and uh, he does an excellent job at it. And Damon, how long have you guys been rehabbing cats and, well, actually all kinds of wild animals? Um, yeah, we've been open for 30 years. We treat roughly three to 4,000 injured wild animals a year. Um, so that one's hogging done, but I have a, another half clip. We deal with uh, all native wildlife pretty much, um, but uh, bobcats, uh, for me, I've been working with them heavily for probably the last 10 years or so. Um, you know, we get quite a few calls every year for them, mostly it's a mix of orphans and young adults typically hit by cars, which is uh, I'm sure you used to. So um, we do our best and we're always looking to reach out and work with other people and you guys have great facilities. So. I'm really hoping she's going to be big enough to go with those kittens. She's the <laughs> Shane, did you guys name her? We don't have a name, name. yet. Okay. No. All right, Adam, you want to get the camera? Oh, I'm moving. Oh, you're doing that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to start this one? Um, well, we need both. We need that one to go in here. And so you hold that one. So we'll get that one over here. Let me have it over here for just a second. Okay, Elisa, push from behind. Sounds like you did a good job of keeping her wild. Yeah, we we um, very hands off when we deal with them and. Um, They still think that they're, they're gigantic big cats. Still have that heart of the tiger when they're. <laughs> I love that about them. So we need to turn around this way. 
Did you see the story on this one where it came from and why I'm you just got eager, it? But there's I saw some pictures, pictures of different people at the rescue site, but I don't know really any of the background. It was just found next to um, uh, the lake at Benderson Park in Sarasota, which is a rowing lake for the rowing championship. And uh, it was laying under just a little go, 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 uh, go. little brush area. And um, she uh, was laying out in the open, basically. And there was a crowd of people around her. And so uh, we did search around, try to find a mother and a site where maybe they were keeping the, the other kittens. We couldn't find anything, and uh, we couldn't obviously leave her out there, so we had to take her in, and uh, we've had her for several weeks now. Uh, Blake Walendo was actually one of the uh, rescuers, so. Um, horrible. Worst time of the day to drive up this way. All right. Secure? Uh, I just got my internet connection back, so there will be webcams. And Luana has those links that she can share with you guys. And we're going to go out and look at some of the cats here at the facility. Thanks, guys. So talk to you guys later.